Good morning, groovy citizens, and happy Sunday. So, today is Sunday, so I am hoping and praying that you all had a little, spent a little time with Jesus. Well, you should be doing that every day, but especially on Sunday. Now, I won't lie, I was sleeping good and I missed the 7.30 service, but luckily, because we're streaming our services, I can go back and watch that when I get back in the house. I am headed to my sister's house. And I'm a little mad because my mind was focused on something else and I drove right past the Shell station because I like to get Shell gas because I find it just burns better in my truck. And so I drove right past the Shell gas station, y'all, and did not go in to get me some gas. I'm like, what the heck was I thinking? So it is what it is and I will just get it on my way back. But I'm headed over to my sister's house right now just to hang out for a little bit. And then I will be back at home. I have to get finish getting my Christmas cards written up so I can get those in the mail. I know I'm late. Don't judge me because I don't judge you. But I'm going to get them done today. And I'll get them in the mail tomorrow. And as you can hear, my sinuses are draining. So I do apologize in advance for that. But I need to stop at CVS. I definitely have to do that today and get me some more core seat. Now, technically, core seat is for colds, and God is good because I haven't had a cold problem in the last five, six years. But what I do love about it is that it dries up your your nasal, um, if your nose is stopped up, it opens that up, but it also dries it up so you don't have that post-nasal drip. I just cannot stand. And every now and then, if one were to look at me, you might think I was crying just because, like I said, my eyes are watering and it's just that my sinuses are acting up. And a lot of it, I believe, has to do with the weather. You know, it's cold one day, then it's nice the next day, and then it's hot another day. And this this fluctuation in the weather is just causing my sinuses to act a plum dag on pool. And so it is what it is. But like I said, I'm going to go pick up some core seating and because uh, I took some actual sinus medicine yesterday and I ended up dozing off I'm not even sure if it stopped my nose from running or not but I ended up going to sleep at least I know the core seat it works like within I'm gonna say between five and ten minutes 15 at the most now it also makes me a little sleepy so that's another thing too so wherever I take it that's where I'm gonna be which is usually in the house because it does make me sleepy and that's fine too, just as long as it does what it needs to do. But anyway, you guys, I wanted to just jump on here just to say happy Sunday. I did not vlog yesterday and y'all charge it to my head and not my heart. My day just got away from me. But you know what, sometimes it's like that and every now and then you need a break, you know, every now and then you have to switch things up. And so that's just what I did. I decided to take care of me yesterday. <laughs> So nothing's wrong, but I just decided to take care of me. So I do apologize for not doing a, doing a vlog yesterday. So I decided I'm going to do it today. So I'm super excited because I have three people that I need to reach out to in terms of doing an interview with them on my podcast for next month because I want to start featuring individuals on my show. And so one of them I actually talked to this morning. The other two, I have to reach out to them via inbox and say hey let me know your schedule so we can pick a date and get get our episode recorded and get that out for like I said for next month I'm, I'm already thinking ahead but in fact I'm gonna go home later on today and start working on topics that I want to 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 talk about in the month of January as well on my podcast well actually I'm only have to do one because I'm going to be doing three interviews and so I only have to actually come up with one day or something I have to actually do. So that's good too. But anywho, so y'all go out there, enjoy your Sunday. Have an amazing, I just want to wish you all an amazing day on purpose. You know, get your relaxation on because tomorrow starts the work week. I'm thankful that I'm off for the next two weeks. I'll be working my part-time job in the morning, but I'm off for the next two weeks. And I'll be spending that time really focusing on my business to be quite honest with you in terms of podcasts well let me backtrack what I want to do is start working on topics that I want to talk about for the first quarter of 2022 and I have Phyllis Knees coming on it's just not coming out <coughs> oh, excuse me and so I'll be working on that 
because I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I like to, well, I've decided that I'm going to start working by quarters. So now I want to start working on things I want to accomplish for the first quarter. I already have two events that I've planned. And so I'll be finishing, putting finishing touches on those, thinking about podcasts that I want to do, thinking about vlogs that I want to do. And it's been a minute since I've sat in front of a camera in my little home studio, as I like to call it, and done a video. So we'll see if I feel like doing that. It just depends. It really just depends. But the whole point that I'm getting at is start thinking now about things that you want to accomplish for the first quarter of next year. And if you don't really want to tackle the whole quarter, because that is three months, then think about things that you want to accomplish in January. If y'all will just do that, I'll be happy. Because I want you to start thinking ahead. And before I forget to mention it yet again, y'all see my Christmas nail color. So I didn't want any bright red because red is just not my color really in terms of nail polish. But I love this because it's a pretty red and it has uh, glitter in it. So I love, love, love it. So now I'm really all set for Christmas. And what else? So I'm going to go home later on today, like I said, and work on that. But I also have to do some wax melts. I found my other molds because I was going to buy some more. But I found the ones that I had that I've never used. And so I'm going to go home and start creating some wax melts and getting those in the jars and all that kind of good stuff. And I'll buy the burners for them. I'll pick those up probably tomorrow. And that'll be done. But other than that, y'all, I'm trying to tell you, I am just going to really relax. Playing and relax today. That's, that's what it's all about. And of course, I'll be watching my Christmas movies. So don't judge me because I don't judge you. But other than that, that's pretty much it for today. So go out there, you guys. Enjoy your day on purpose. Make it a, I mean, get your relax, get, get relaxed so that you can be prepared to take on the week. But I also want you all to focus on just one thing. Focus on one thing that you want to accomplish and then make that thing happen. If you all can do that for me, I would greatly appreciate it, okay? Because I want us to make sure we're using our time, excuse me, wisely. You know, I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel like my time gets away from me. And when that happens, it's usually because I didn't plan. I'm all on the curve. Because I did not plan effectively. <laughs> so I, I don't want to become a stickler a stickler with... Oh, I don't want to hit my sister's mailbox either. I should have a fit. I don't want to become a stickler with my time. But I also don't want my time getting away from me either. So, yeah. Enjoy your day. Get some relaxing in. But also make it a productive day as well. And, and you all know that I love each and every one of you to the moon and back. I want nothing but the best for you. And when I tell you that I believe in you all, I need you to truly, truly understand that I believe in each and every one of you. I love each and every one of you. And most of you I've never met and I probably never will actually get a chance to meet. And it's all right because I love each and every one of you nonetheless. And I want you all to succeed. I want you all to use the last few days that we have remaining in this quarter, in this year, to, to accomplish some great things. And I want you to go into the new year ready to just take on the world. You hear what I'm saying? Just ready to take on the world. I want y'all to step into 22, 2022, say that three times fast, with your chest lifted, your chin up, head up, and say, look, I am ready to take on this year. I know every year we say this is going to be my year. And unfortunately, we all experienced some stuff last year because of the uh, because of COVID. But, but I truly want 2022 to, to be your year. And so if you need to figure out who you need to get in con uh, to be um what's the word i'm looking for figure out because here's the thing you don't have to do everything yourself so figure out who you need to connect with to to start helping you grow as a person or helping your business grow if you need a coach an accountability coach life coach whatever coach you need go out and get those things because i want you all to be successful in this new year i'm not saying you weren't successful this year but i want you to be even more successful so really start looking at your business uh if you have a business and and yourself 
your life in general, let me just say that, and figure out how you can take it up another notch. So if you were here with it, I want you to bring it up to here. You understand what I'm saying? Every year you should be taking your life, your business, your goals, your dreams, all of that to another level. Not just going through life doing the same thing all the time because that's just living a mediocre life. Life, And if you like that, well, let me say, and famous words of my Aunt Anne, if you like it, I love it. But that's not how I choose to live my life. I'm always trying to take things to the next level. And I believe you all can do that as well. So that's it. I have reached my destination. Go in here, fix me another hot cup of tea and sit by the fireplace. And I brought my traveler's notebook because I've been using this. I showed you, I think I showed you guys my traveler's notebook before, but specifically this is my December book. And so I'm just gonna be, I'm just doing some journaling in it. And like, this is a card that I found that I really like, And it's uh, John 114 that I glued in here. And so I have different things in here, but I do have pages where I can just journal and write down my thoughts, you know, things that I've accomplished, great things that have happened and sometimes not so great things. But I love it that I can, because I'm a journaling person, y'all know that. And so I'm gonna sit by the fireplace and write in my book as I watch a Christmas movie of some sort. So that's it, you guys. That's all I have. If you're new to watching my videos, I want to say welcome. Don't forget to check out, oops, don't forget to check out what is today, day eight, I believe it is, day eight of my 12 Days of Christmas series. I posted the link in Instagram also on LinkedIn and in my Facebook group and I shared the video on LinkedIn and in my Facebook group so make sure you check that out super excited about it and I hope hopefully you all have been watching all of my 12 days of Christmas series leading up to day eight tomorrow I will put out day nine and we will just keep going y'all because I enjoy doing that kind of stuff so again welcome if you're new to watching my videos if this is not your first rodeo i want to say welcome back i missed you guys so glad to see you again again go out there enjoy your day make it a productive day but also make sure you get some rest take a little time for you and if you need to finish up your christmas shop and try to get that done today if you need to finish writing up like i do your christmas cards try to get that done today as well but whatever you do no matter what you do no matter where you go no matter where you are in life no matter what you think you are or who you think you're not always know that god loves each and every one of us flaws and all isn't that a beautiful thing that that's that's a beautiful thing when you think about how god loves all of us flaws and all because i'm not perfect either I really am not. And I don't walk around here thinking I'm perfect because I'm not. But I'm thankful that God loves me in spite of me. Mm, come on, somebody. Because even man, when I say man, I'm talking about man, woman, or child. A lot of times people will give up on you. They'll stop loving you for whatever reason. But I'm thankful that God loves us no matter what we've done, no matter where we've been, no matter what we've done, you know, done to other people, what's been done to us. He loves us regardless. So take that with you as you go throughout this day and also as you go throughout the week. That God loves you and so do I. Until our next car conversation, which will be on tomorrow, take care.